Well, it's the Tony Award-winning musical, Jelly's Last Jam. The musical is all about the birth of jazz, and Jelly Roll Morton show is now playing at the Pasadena Playhouse. And joining me now is one of the stars, Chris Williams. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thank so you many people, I'm sure, are looking at you saying, oh, I know I'm from this show, that show. You've been on so many shows. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And now we're hearing about you being on the stage, which is exciting. I, I didn't know about your theatrical work. So... Yeah. yeah. Tell us about the character that you're playing. In so show. I play the, the chimney man, mm -hmm. um, who's this kind of otherworldly character who uh, his job really is to help Jelly come to a reckoning. Mm -hmm. um, it's a wonderful character. He's deep, he's dark, he's funny, he's a bit of a trickster, and he kind of, you know, exists outside of space and time. So I get mm -hmm. to have a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. Does yeah. it kind of take you out of your comfort zone? I mean, because you've been really a successful actor and yeah. done so much. But I know that you've got cut and edits and all that good stuff. But here, yeah. I mean, you've got the eyes just looking right at you. Oh, it's operating without a net. It's it's uh, it's interesting because I haven't really done theater since college, and you know the rehearsal process that that is great in itself because you mm -hmm. get to you get to play and make mistakes, and then you come back and do it all over again. But once you hit the stage, yeah. it's like, as our director said, it's like being shot out of a cannon. Mm -hmm. And if you make a mistake or something doesn't go right, you have to just keep going. Mm -hmm. And, you know, in my mind, it's like, cut, let's do it again. It's like, no, 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 no. It's, it's, <laughs> keep you, going, keep, keep going. going. Operate without a net. Yeah, so. but it's fun. You're having fun with this. <laughs> I mean, yes. living on the edge. <laughs> I am, no, I am having fun. It is fun because um, it's different every night. I mean, having an, a live audience there to respond is what makes it fun. You start to mm -hmm. learn what works, what doesn't work. You hold for laughter, and it just starts to take on a life of its own. So yeah. that's, that's exciting. But I'm sure sometimes you get a big laugh, and then you do it the next night, and you're like, come on, yes. where, where, where's yeah. the laughter? And that's the trick, right? You don't uh -huh. want to anticipate a laugh, but you also have to know that it can come. And so uh, a lot of the show is predicated on me signaling things as mm -hmm. the kind of otherworldly mm -hmm. character. And so I have to kind of keep an eye out on applause and laughter to know when can I sneak my little mm -hmm. response in here and there. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. so you want to tell fans when they come, see it when they should laugh. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> laugh here, don't laugh here. Wait here, yeah. yeah. No, no, no. But it's been fun to do this role because it is been... very different than what we've seen you do. Oh, it's been a blast. I saw this show um, at the taper in 91. Wow. Yeah, when it first came out. I saw it when I was a, a college student and um, Keith David originated the role and when I saw him, he was mesmerizing. Oh. And I, I said to myself then, I said, I want to play that part. Someday. Really? Yeah. And now here you and are. And I get to do it. Oh, yeah. I love it. What yeah. a great story. Thanks yeah. so much for sharing it Thank and for you. joining us today. And again, Jelly's Last Jam is now playing at the Pasadena Playhouse through June 23rd, I believe that is. And you can find more information by going to our website, kcalnews.com, and clicking Scene on TV.